Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's video we shall be swapping our weapons between our hands, our back slot, it's fully replicated so everybody can see us do it and we can also run around and swap our weapons while we are still running. So first let's set up everything we need in our third person character, so let's open it up. Now in here I want to have a couple of variables, the first one is we're going to remove uh, our items from our equipment so that we wouldn't lose the reference to those items, I want to duplicate this variable and I will rename this to be the temporary equipment. So that once we remove our weapons we still have a reference to them and we can reattach them. Now I'm going to need two more variables and one of them is going to be called is drawing web and it's going to be a boolean and another one is going to be for the is swapping web. And these are mostly going to be used for the animation so let's get both of these inside of here and we will want to do a or boolean check on these and then if branch checks and we want to do two of these because we need our keyboard one and the keyboard two events so those are going to be the keys on which I'm going to swap my weapons so on pressed we're going to make sure that we already are not swapping or drawing a weapon then to make sure that our animations are replicated properly we need to make sure that both of these variables are replicated and then we need to run a custom event which I'm going to call server set anim bolts and this needs a new input let's call this selection and this will be a string and I'm going to do a switch on this string and I'm going to have two types for this so one of them is going to be our drawing and the other one is going to be our swapping. There we go and we want to make sure that this event is ran on server and then we can set our boolean values so is drawing to be true and is swapping to be true as well. Then we want to do a delay and since I know that my animations are going to be 1.2 seconds long I'm going to type in 1.2 you might have to experiment uh, depending on the length of your animations and then I want to set both of these back to false over here so let's do so now from our if branch checks on the falses we want to run our server set animbools so let's copy this over here as well let's type in selection so this is going to be the drawing on keyboard one and swapping on keyboard 2. Then from both of these we want to do a delay because I don't want my weapon swap to happen right uh, at the beginning of the animation. I want it to happen right in the middle of the animation so it's going to be 0.6. Now we need to actually add and remove, remove and add our weapons. So let's create a new function. Let's call this remove weapons and like I said we need to keep references to our weapons. So let's set our temporary equipment to be a copy from our regular equipment. Then since I only have drawing and swapping I'm going to drag these two in and I'm going to do if branch checks to see if we are swapping or if we are drawing. So on false I'm going to check the other one and then from both of the true routes we can run our remove amount at index and we need two on the top and we also need two on the bottom. And for the arrays, let's use our equipment. So get the equipment, connect the arrays. Now for the amounts, I want to remove one on every single one of these. So one, one, and one. And for the indexes on drawing, I want to remove my right hand weapon. So it's number three and my back slot number five. And for the swapping, index four, which is my, well, let's start with, with three to keep the pattern. So the right hand weapon and number four, left hand weapon. Now let's create another function, which I'm going to call add weapons. And we need two functions because if I'm using multiple weapons, swapping multiple weapons at the same time, I'm not, uh, uh, this is not replicating properly. We lose the reference to our weapons. If you have any suggestions how to perhaps solve this issue, leave a comment down below. Uh, but with a delay, everything seems to work just fine. So I'm going to copy these if branch checks to my add weapons function and on true routes in this case we are going to add item to equipment and again we need four of these nodes 
And so let's work on the indexes on the number three. First, we will want to add our index number five. So our back slot and our primary right hand weapon to number three. Now on swapping, let's add item first to our left hand and then right hand. And for the items, let's drag in our temporary equipment and let's get a copy to our right hand weapon number three. And we want to put it in the other slot. So the, for the top, this one and for the bottom number four. Now let's copy this node since in the second nodes on the top we want to use our back slot so the one from the slot five and on the bottom we want to use the slot number four. There we go so basically swapping weapons around let's save this let's go to the event graph and now after this delay let's remove our weapons first then let's do this tiny delay uh, with, uh, without which it does not swap multiple weapons. So let's do the 05, a small one, and add weapons back to our character. So now if we would go to the game. So now once we click after a second, there we go. The weapons are swapping places. So now let's work on the actual animations. And first let me show you how I made my animation. So I duplicated the idle animation. And for now let's call this test. And so inside of here, I went to the first frame and I selected every single one of the bones that I want to move. So in this case, it's going to be only one hand for the swapping. I did both. So I moved the bones out of their location and back to the original and press S. And you can see it added a new keyframe. So that's where the uh, that bone has to be at that point and time in the animation. So at the beginning, so I did for all of the bones that I needed. Then I go to the final frame of the animation and do exactly the same thing move these out of the way and back in their locations and press s then i go to the middle of the animation for this one uh, for different animations you might have different points and times but for this one it's right here so what i did was simply move the arm in the location i think it should be there we go and this would be my animation and also what I did was in the asset details I made it twice as fast so that my weapon swap happens a little bit quicker but I already have both of the animations so I'm gonna delete this so here is the drawing weapon and here is the swapping weapon now let's go to our animation blueprint and inside of our animation blueprint yours should look the event graph should look, look pretty much the same I've removed some comments and also what I want to do is replace this is valid with cast to the character. Then we can hold control and reconnect this one to our character and then use the try get pawn owner as the object reference. Then let's reconnect the execution and we need to get our is drawing weapon and we also need to get our is swapping. So is swapping and we want to promote both of these two variables inside of our animation blueprint. So is drawing web and the is swapping web. There we go. So now let's go to our state machine and from the idle I want to add a state. So let's add a state and let's call this drawing and let's create another state and let's call this swapping. Now let's set the conditions on which we can transfer to this animation. So this thing right here and let's connect our is drawing since we want to return true. So if we are drawing, then we want to run this animation and same goes for the swapping. If we are swapping, then we want to run this animation. Now we need a route back from here. So let's drag one over here and one over here. Let's set the back routes to be is drawing not value. So basically if we are not drawing this will return us true and bring us back to our idle animation and the same thing for the swap. So is swapping not and connect it like so. Now let's set up the actual animations. First I'm going to go to my idle run animation and I'm going to copy this blend then go to my drawing animation and paste that in because what I want to do is a thing called a layered blend per bone since we want to blend two animations together our running animation and in this case our 
drawing animation for so for the blend pose let's connect that and now we need to select our uh, this node right here and add a branch filter to this and and here we need a bone name so let's go to our skeleton and let's select a bone from which we want to start blending so we want to blend the lower part with the upper part so somewhere in this area any bone should do the job so let's select our spine 01 seems to be a good bone let's remember this case sensitively because we need to type that in here so spine 01 and blend depth is 1 so now if we compile and save this go to the animation preview so is drawing and giving this guy some speed you can see he's running and swapping the weapon with the back slot so now I want to copy these three nodes to my is swapping paste those in and this means if I copy this the RI elements come with it so now I can connect my swapping animation compile this test this out is swapping and running and there we go animations are all set up now let's actually try this out again from the client one of the clients let's select our weapons like so let's walk up to these guys and like hey guys we're swapping weapons yay swapping with the back slot we can also run and do the same thing and it keeps the animations smooth and the swap swap is happening pretty decently so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching leave a like subscribe make sure you join my discord support me on patreon and i see you in the next video